This is Marcy Pilkington for Good E-Reader at Digital Book World. I'm here talking to Mr. Mike Schatzkin, who is the conference chair for this year's event. Good morning. Thanks for talking to us. What do you think were some of the highlights of this year's event? Well, of course, we're only halfway through, so we're going to have a lot of highlights to go today. As a matter of fact, I'm looking at the program for the breakouts at uh, 10.30 this morning, I was thinking, my goodness, which one would people choose? Um, I think for yesterday, one of the highlights for me was we did a, a session on romance publishing. And what we learned was that despite the fact that allromance.com, the biggest independent uh, e-retailer of romance books, carries all of the major publishers' titles, they com and combined constitute about 4% of their sales. And uh, what that means is that there's a very big business in romance publishing that's existing outside the purview of the major publishing houses. And that was a uh, discovery for me, and I think it was probably a discovery perhaps even for, for the major houses uh, who I think would think that they're signing up the stuff that people most want to read. Uh, so that was, that was a, sort of a startling fact from yesterday. Um, otherwise, I, I just I thought every panel I went to was uh, was uh, scintillating, and I was uh, very pleased with all of the speakers that we that I that I got a chance to see. Uh, very upbeat mood here, um, which uh, in a, for an industry that's uh, undergoing a lot of change is in and of itself of interest. Um, so I think that that I think that sort of covers my my view of it, which is very upbeat and optimistic and enjoyable. There were a lot of thematic discussions coming out of the event. Uh, there was a lot of talk about print on demand and how it relates to being part of digital publishing versus a tangible aspect of it. Uh, we heard a lot about children's ebook content and interactive content, the enhanced ebooks. So what do you think are going to be some of the big issues to come out of publishing in 2012 and beyond? Well, I think that first of all, the two you mentioned are, are not going away. Um, print on demand is going to become increasingly important for two reasons. One is because the print on demand technology is improving, but the other is as less and less is sold in print, um, doing it lengthy press runs is a, uh, it gets more challenging. So publishers are going to have to keep print alive through print on demand. Um, and the question of what children's books turn into in an era where we can do all the things we can do with enhancement and apps is also still got a lot of discovery to uh, take place. And I don't mean the kind of discovery of finding titles. I mean discovery of what will, what will appeal. Um, and I think actually one of the big questions emerging in 2012 is going to be adult illustrated books. Um, there really is no formula for presenting them digitally yet that has been proven to be uh, economically productive. They're expensive to do. There are a lot of screens that can handle them now, but there's no particular evidence that people want that kind of book in digital form. And there are a lot of publishers that depend on those books and are going to find fewer and fewer bookstores to sell them in. So I think that this could be a year where we start to see that the immersive text publishing business and the illustrated publishing business may not be the same business going forward. And that may become more and more evident this year. This is Mercy Pilkington for Good E-Reader at Digital Book World. Thank you for your time this morning and enjoy the rest of your conference. Thank you, Marcy.